Previously on XCOM 2 The Long War. Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of The Long War. We've sent a team in to try and jailbreak out some resistance contacts. There's a couple of rookies and uh, someone who's going to be working at our haven at this advent uh, internment camp. Uh, it uh, should be pretty straightforward. We've got slightly reduced numbers because people are in training, but we're making the best use of the squads we have available. This is actually my second attempt at uh, recording this mission. Uh, during the first one, Windows decided it would be a good opportunity to tell me that I should be updating my computer. And uh, as lovely and helpful as that is, uh, having a big pop-up in the middle of the screen doesn't really help much when you're trying to do recordings. Okay, uh, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to recreate the turn as I played it out. Um, so Boz is going to run up to here first. Thankfully, I'd only got one turn in, so I haven't actually seen much of what's going on on this mission. But I know that that corner is safe. And then I ran everyone up so that they were pretty much standing in the open. Dub Zane to there. Zhang, you came across this way. All of Freeji ran up to that corner. Matrix came just behind. And Akimonji came around that edge. Now we do obviously have 20 turns, uh, there's potential for reinforcements, but given we've got stealth at the moment, ooh, uh, we're able to move up a little bit more recklessly than we would otherwise. So, Wallafried, you're going to have a look at this. Let's see what's on the cards for the hack. Targeting, man. Right? 20 aim and 20 crit for seven turns. That's huge. Um, that's really bad, though. Felt hat getting uh, defense and mobility boost for all enemies. Uh, the cash, that's potentially useful. Um, so we'll leave this until either the shit's hitting the fan for the targeting or we're about to evac for the other one. Uh, in the meantime, though, we can move you up. So let's get you in there. No glass to run through. So we keep all the moving towards Boz grenades in. I can't tap off you. Enemy patrol on the move. Okay, our first patrol. We've got a Viper and an Engineer, judging by the wonderful grenade launcher on his back. And when I say wonderful, I of course mean the death-dealing destruction out. device. Uh, it's not that lovely. We don't actually enjoy it as much as I'm pretending. Uh, Zhang, you can come in over there. Oh, we can't tab off you either. What have you seen? We have company. Okay, at least you didn't reveal yourself. That's not too bad, those three together. It's a reasonable pod. Um, Matrix up to here. And Dub Zane, our double sniper duo, of course, working well together. Matrix being our snapshot and Dub Zane being our rapid targeter. Where are these guys going? Okay, well, you know, breaking spots of glass for the fun of it. Oh, we can't see that other drone anymore, which is good and bad. It's good in the sense that it's not going to trigger. It's bad in the sense that we've got no idea where it is. So, options. Um, we can rapid target the engineer and then we could shoot the engineer. And set up everyone else's overwatch for this guy. So, 
you can't actually see anyone I can want. Where can we put you that's going to be useful? We could move you up to here, actually. Roger that. Enemy patrol on the move. Mm, even more. All right. No, we could engage with more. Let's, let's put you on Overwatch and we'll see how this plays out. You can only see that one, but as the Viper moves, that should change. Yeah, you can go on Overwatch where you are. Zhang, I kind of want you to be a responder to where these guys end up. So for now, we'll leave you. Wallafried, you can... From where you are, you can see both of them. Go on Overwatch where you are. So, Matrix with Snapshot is also going to be a responder. The other option is we could just go on Overwatch where we are. In fact, no, no, no. We'll go on Overwatch where we are with Matrix. Uh, so, we've got one responder and the engineer killer. Let's take this guy out. In the face. Solid critical. Good job, Dub Zane. Target neutralized. We're spotted. All right, here comes the Overwatch fire. It's a graze. It's a better hit. No. Oh, Matrix. Trying to shoot a snake with a sniper rifle. Enemy is still up. And that means those guys are free to do whatever they want. All right, I need to spread these guys out. So, Zhang, you're going to come in here. This is not actually brilliant positioning because he's taken the position that I want. We could run right up to this window actually and it won't be quite as good. But 78 is a very reasonable chance of killing it. There we go. Murder through a window. With a shotgun. And an Illyrian core for our trouble. Yeah, that does not look healthy. So we've got grabs and spits to watch out for. And lasers. Alright. Our snipers are not having a good day. But everyone else seems to be intact. I might need some help. Some help. All right, don't worry, guys. We will make this work. So, Zhang, we could actually run and gun you to here, and you could get a decent blast. Or we can... Oh, no, you're going to end up... We need to stop that first. We could do it with a frag grenade from over here. Boz doesn't actually care about civilians at all. So I feel okay with this. Heads down. I've watch removed and a bit of loot destroyed. Target's clear. I'm more annoyed about the loot being destroyed than I am about the civilian dying. So everyone else. Moving to designated position. Let's get all the murder on. In fact, you can get both barrels on this guy. 16 damage! Target neutralized. Need to get a closer look. Now, there was still that drone somewhere, uh, so probably best if we keep our eyes peeled for it. Let's bring Zang across to this. I suspect it will have heard and is coming across. Let's move Wallafried up. Wallafried can hack that uh, drone when it arrives. We'll go on Overwatch anyway, just in case. And uh, as for Matrix, let's get you in over here. Out of the poison cloud. And the same for 
Dub saying, go, go, go. out of the poison cloud. We'll just have to hope it wears off quickly before you guys get too injured. Right, here's the drone. Fine! It's just a tiny bit of poison. Right, we're gonna try the hack first. And if the chance to take it over is high, we may do that and use it as a forward scout. Oh, 48%. And it'll improve its aim and defense chance if we fail, but it's going to die this turn anyway. Let's do it. Oh, just, just missed. Okay, so it's been supercharged. It's going to be a bit harder to kill, but a bit harder to kill is not particularly hard to kill. So, Boz, let's step you up. Minus 20 chance to hit because of that. Get it together. We're in dry on ammo. We've got two shots over here at 47. There's one. Hard target, minimal damage. And there's the second. Hostile it would have been nice to steal it, but uh, killing it is just as viable. Right, uh, you're going to step up to this corner. And I think we'll go on Overwatch there. Civilians are running around and screaming. And this is the building that we need to get into, so it's probably going to be quite defended. Uh, let's put... Matrix up top. And Dub Zane, can we get you? No, we can't get you up top as well. I guess we'll put you down the bottom then. Try and get an angle across at the entrance. Took some damage here. Come on, poison, wear off. All right, that one hurt. Oh no, Matrix is panicking. No. And is still poisoned. This isn't right. This isn't right. It'll be fine, Matrix. I mean, you're supposed to be leading everyone. We've still got a lot of time. So, the actual door in is there. We could probably, like, knock a hole in the wall. Uh, where is... Matrix is blocking the top as well. That's not cool. Let's move everyone up and we'll reload and... Uh, prep to move in. We've got a lot of time and really we've only got to get out that side. We've only taken five turns to get here so reload. Ah oh, there you are Boz. Yeah step on forwards. Because you've got sappers so we could blow a hole in the wall. Reload. Reload. Step in. Reload, Overwatch, and get to here and steady weapon, just in case anyone comes in. I really hope Matrix doesn't die before the poison wears off. Alright, poison's worn off at least. Totally not cool though, totally not cool. Wallafried, let's move you up. Oh, patrol on the side. Okay. Another thing to hack. Another thing to potentially take control of, but uh, we don't have Haywire Protocol on cooldown at the moment. So let's focus on what we can do. 82% with rapid targeting, that will be... 92% we could take out the drone with a single sniper.
If we're lucky. In this case, we're not, but, you know, that rapid targeting is going to be useful for everyone else. Uh, you can't actually see it from where you are. So, I'm very tempted to step you out in. Right, let's actually have a look over here. So, we can get Zhang over here and take out this one. Uh, given the number of mobs we faced, that's probably the last dude or if we can get Zhang to do that one there. Oz can probably grenade that. Might be able to grenade it from here. So let's get Boz in. I'm going. And yeah, we'll get the frag grenade on this. So these guys left, how are we going to do it? I would love to be able to get a slightly better angle forwards. Wallafree does have combat protocol. And we could go on overwatch as well for this guy. So, let's have a look at this one here. It would be step in, open the door. Mm. It's risky is what it is. Shotgun should do enough damage when we get in close to kill him. But he does have a gun. So I think what we're going to do is we'll get a flashbang on this guy and we will shotgun murder this dude. So run and gun. Moving, out. Moving to designated coordinates. Pop. This one is finished. A sensible choice. Get a data pad from that. Nice. So, Wall of Reed, we could get a flashbang from you on this dude. And that way we can step on in with other people. Moving to designated coordinates. In fact, we could walk fire, do a little bit. No, if we're going to do that, we may as well throw a frag grenade on him. Heads down. Because that will do a hell of a lot of damage, and the red fog will uh, certainly stop him from uh, from hitting anything. Now the reinforcements are imminent, so we've still got time to get in and grab the people and get away. All right, Matrix, you are back in the game. How are we going to use you best? Given he's on Overwatch. Let's step one space this way. Heading there now. We'll get the flank shot. And then we're going to get everyone as far forwards as possible. Because we need to make moves on this actual jailbreak. Is there a door in on this side? There is, sort of.
chances are slim that there's someone left inside. Wallafried, we're going to charge you in. It's totally fine. Everything's clear. And I'm so, so glad that you're not going to die because of that. Okay, I can wander across there. Matrix, you're going to come down towards this side. Got it. And Dub Zane, you're going to lend some reinforcements on this side. And this should just tick over really quickly. Yeah, just like I thought. You can normally tell based on how long the alien uh, turns take exactly what you can expect. Um. Not too late. So, really, the door's there, even though we can't see it. We still need to hack it to get the people out. Uh, go for the large intel cache. Mm, yeah, we wouldn't have got either of them. Unfortunate, but, you know, them breaks. But, door open, people released and you guys are actually just going to leg it for the extraction point so go 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 because the faster we get them out the better i don't mind if we stick around for a little bit um, with our actual soldiers but really i want okay Get up top. Got it. We'll take the high ground as much as possible as we approach this finish. We'll do. And we'll try not to let Matrix get stranded by himself. Copy that. A little bit disappointing that we're going to end up with, uh, with injuries, but... Poison is a dangerous thing. So you're going to there. Katarina, you can make it into there. You've actually gone the wrong way. The hell? No! Ah. Run back this way. I'll have to try better next time. Right. Overwatch. 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 I'm going to step in. And Overwatch. Wallafried, get up top here, please. Matrix. I'm actually just going to keep running you towards the exit. You two can just get out. We've secured a civilian contact. Reloaded. Right. Other civilian person. Please keep making motions towards the exit. Whatever you say. Move, move, move. I think we're going to get everyone in Already and close, there. but not actually on the exit, so that they're ready to just hop in as Little needed damage. next turn. Matrix, you can go one space beyond. You can come in there. Advent reinforcements inbound. Right, civilian, can you make it? Yes, you can. We'll get you in and evacuated. And then we'll get everyone else set up ready for the Overwatch. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. So that's technically no in the area. We're not going to get any Overwatch with Matrix because you can't do Overwatch with Snapshot. Uh, but what we can do is we can Steady Weapon ready for next turn. Uh, where's Dub Zane? Dub Zane is also going to be in a Moving similar position. predicament. So in Steady Weapon. Everyone else though. No problem, boss. Overwatch Central. I'm on it. Moving. Moving to Overwatch. Position confirmed. I'm on it. Can't problem, boss. 
Right, let's see where these guys drop and how many come in. Just a couple to start off with, and they're just mooks. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Well, you heard him. More blatant. Ah, oh, wow. Actually kind of made it round. Surprising. And we could get Matrix to step round and take a pot shot. Um, we could also do a walk fire on them. Uh, we've got... Yeah, let's do a walk fire. Right, everyone else, steady weapon and reload as needed. So reload, steady weapon. Ah, uh, you just need to steady weapon. Reload Overwatch. And you can't reload. You're already overwatched. You're already overwatched. That's everyone. More coming in. Okay. Overwatch for Dub Zane. Overwatch for Boz. Reload and Overwatch for Rackham Wand. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. Overwatch. Round two. This time, there's three of them to take out. As soon as we struggled with just taking out two last time. Although we didn't have our snipers shooting, so... I mean, you can't really judge us too badly on that. I mean, I mentioned the snipers, but... Wow, at least one person managed to hit. And a graze. Matrix? Hey! Good shot, Matrix. So we've got this dude left to take out. The cavalry's here. More are coming in, so if we can get him gone, then we can take a shot at them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the easier options. Step in, get the flank. It does mean that we're a little bit exposed, but I believe that should be fine. Cool. And everyone else can go on Overwatch. Hostile neutralized. So, Overwatch. Overwatch. In fact, reload Overwatch. Because we do have grenades to get out of um, this trouble if uh, Overwatch ends up being set by Advent as they come in. Uh, Matrix, you can just go on Overwatch. Dubs in, you can just go on Overwatch. That's everyone. They're definitely rolling out the bigger guns. This is an extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. We'll need to look at vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. We've got a lot of armor. But that is our first mech kill. Good job, everyone. I think we're going to throw grenades and um, get the hell out of dodge. So, step back. What can we do? We can take a pot shot at this one. It's good enough that a grenade will do the kill. Okay. Next up. Actually, yeah, let's just get that frag grenade in there. Well, Freed, you've got a frag grenade. Uh, let's go for the one at the back. Try and get you a kill. Boom. 
That leaves the engineer in front. Matrix, seeing as you're going to be out for a bit, let's get you some more experience. Kill him and the vehicle next to him. Is that not going to blow up? Ah, oh, Well, I guess it's going to fall to our other sniper then. Okay, so we've still got Boz, who has no real grenades, but you can go on Overwatch. And is that it? Alright, so one last round. It's very unlikely we're going to get any more kills out of this, but uh, we can try. It's a reasonable graze. Then again, with vehicles exploding, there's always the chance. So, Dub Zane, you've got rapid targeting. Maybe on this guy. Matrix, we wanted to get you a kill. Let's try and pick this guy off. The graze is all we needed. Not too shabby. Next up. It's a good hit. Just like a graze will uh, will finish him off. Uh, you need to reload and then Let's rock. Pause. Well, if you've got slightly more chance, then you will get a kill if you hit him, so. No. Still moving. Uh, reload. We've got walk fire that we can do. Back in. Walk fire on this guy. One damage is all we needed. Any more for any more. 20% chance. Ah, no, it's, a, it's a respectable amount that people have done. Combat Protocol could do three damage. Give it a go, Wallafried. Hmm, no. Oh, <laughs> well. I think that is everyone, so time for us to evac. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. That, as they say, is that. Two soldiers wounded, unfortunately. But we rescued all the civilians and no one died. That's probably the most important thing. So, that was Operation Ruinous Furnace. Let's get back to base. Okay, how long are you out for, Matrix? That is the question. 14 days. Uh, it was it did like over half kill you, so that's that's fine. Uh, we've got promotion on Wall of Reed. Uh, interference and uh, it's good. It's good. Use three times per battle doesn't actually take any time, um, but we're actually going to go for field surgeon. I just think it's going to be more use over the entire course of the campaign. Over here, we're going for locked on extra. Sh um, Accuracy on successive shots. For Boz, we're going with Heavy Ordnance because I absolutely love extra explosions. And Zhang, what are we going to do with you? We're going to go with Arc Pulsar. Damages mechanical enemies. So, we got... Two regular people and a resistance person, so it's all in all pretty, pretty good, I'd say. So we've got rookie Ekaterina and Maria, and we're going to put one of them straight into the Guerrilla Tactics School. 
So, Maria, you're going to become a sniper. No, we're actually going to get another shinobi. Let's pop back here very quickly. We do have someone in the med bay, so let's actually just see how we're going to do for our soldier injuries. Uh, that is actually with medical support. Okay. So... Dobzane and Matrix are going to be out for a little bit of time. It's not too bad, all in all, but uh, if I go to our squad management, uh, they were on the Dragoons. The Dragoons are a little bit lighter than normal. I love this. They're all infiltrating and they've all been pulled from different squads. It's possibly the best way of showing things off. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. Okay, I think most probably if we add one of the rookies onto, I suppose we could put them on the dragoons to replace Matrix temporarily. But uh, no, we'll put we'll put them on Super Six. Uh, so assign soldiers. Um, we'll take the rookie for now. And we'll swap back out once the shinobi training is done. In fact, who doesn't have a shinobi? You don't have one. You don't have one. You've got one and uh, the roughnecks have one because we've obviously stolen from everywhere else. Nah, that's, uh, it's not too bad all in all. Okay. Let's remind ourselves where we were over here. So we've got two squads actually working at the moment. Uh, we are still just passing time. Uh, with 33 supplies, there's not a great deal we can do there. So let's just double check these guys. You're in hiding. Let's put you on supply. It does draw more attention to the base, of course. The uh, same with intel gathering. In fact, no, we'll put you on intel. Okay, Van Dorn is back from wounds, and my flush training is done. What else could I do for me? Uh, Sprinter is good. Flashbanger will be useful, but I think we'll start training down the further pistol abilities. Because that's only going to be another four days. Uh, as far as the uh, the squads go, because part of the squad is infiltrating at the moment, if I just bring up the, uh, hang on, whereabouts, there we go, squad management. Uh, because part of the squad is infiltrating, there's no point in finishing doing that until they're getting back. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately that means that Dark Shadow is kind of waiting and uh, Ekaterina is also waiting, but uh, them's the breaks. Right, these guys are up to 152%, 109%. So both infiltrations coming along very nicely. This one must launch now. This is going to give us a gunner, which is awesome, and an intel package, which is doubly awesome. Uh, let's get launching. We're moving in to try and pull off an emergency rescue operation for the resistance. The spokesman gave us the coordinates of a VIP currently being held by Advent forces in this area. We need to secure the site, remove any hostiles standing in our way, and free the prisoner. Okay. Join me next time for Operation Plunging Carcass. I'll see you soon.